Alrighty, let's watch this new one here. No sound, let's play this in full first. Kind of gives me some uh, Starship trooper vibes. It's very cool though. Wah, wah, wah. What's over there? Ah, <laughs> nice. Kaka, kaka. Oh, taking it hard and bam. All right. So let me check this out again. I think that here's my impression, which always leads to sense. So I'm subjective, <laughs> free to ignore everything. There's just moments where to me it kind of dies a bit and sometimes it's a bit too overactive. So when the creature gets here, like, is that supposed to be a, whew, whew, all right, gotta get somewhere where I feel like that's almost too human-y in terms of, I gotta catch my breath before I continue over there. So I'm not quite sure, like, to me, the energy kind of, kind of dies where I feel like we can cut that much shorter. And I'm all for texture and changes in time for contrast and stuff, but this just feels a bit long in terms of a pause. Subjectively, as always. But the feeling is cool. Very creaturey. Lots of cool stuff to see here. That's cool. I like this a lot. The coming up here, getting up there. Bit of a pause to get ready. That's all cool. The thing that's a bit weird here is that it almost feels like it's too... That's the wall and it's sticking straight up without a bit of a, a move. You know, it's from a side view. If the camera was here and that's the wall there. It feels like the creature is like this on it. And I feel like it would be neat if that's the wall, that the creature is a bit more like that. A bit more gravity, trying to stay up a bit straighter. Something going on here where, let me see, like, you know, it's a bit more like that while it's up there, if that makes sense. Because also that ends up being a bit too default. So anything like that where, you know, like one leg could be lower, they could be closer, this guy would already be over it. It's like something where it's trying to keep the balance and have a bit more of an offset leg there. But again, it gets a bit... So watch this. It gets up there. goes there. Okay. Again, it, it. I would go and eliminate that will pause a little bit. Again, not that I'm all for rushing things, but it feels like it dies again a little bit because we're already at uh, a fair amount of seconds here. And then goes over. Because even that is really long where I feel like well, by now, the creature would see what's over the edge. Why is it staying there and going, ah, does it not see this? I don't know. But that's, again, very subjective. If you want to have a thing, I don't know. If you want to keep this, to me, it feels almost like you want to get in there, crawl up there, a slight pause to get up there. You know, again, for texture, just a little bit of slight change, but keep going, keep going. So it goes up there and then it turns around to do caca, caca, more towards us, which I know is tricky in terms of silhouettes or maybe towards us and up, so we have a nicer silhouette of the fangs here, but something where it's away from this, and it thinks, coast is clear, and it tells its other creatures, all right, let's go. Then the surprise comes in. Bah, 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 bah. This one's a bit funky just because of the shadowing. It gets all very dark here. I would lighten that up with a bit of a, uh, a fill ambient light here, but it's not like that. You have a bit of a, if you have a key light, however the key light falls like this, you got a bit of bounce light on the um, lighting up that lower part. Well, you got cool action here. Getting into this, that's cool. This is a bit fast. To me, because to me, that little, those stompy arms. Maybe, it's by a frame or so. I know this is super picky, but. And then it starts a bit to die again where, and I'm also not super, super fond of traveling cameras like that. I think you can tell the exact story by just having Having a bit more handheld and a reframe so that the character is actually more framed like this. And then jumps out. I don't think we need that camera move. It's just a bit of a static CG camera at, the, at that point. And it's a long time without happening, you know, anything happening there. Again, I would do... Where to me, I would personally go up there, hold this a bit longer. And have when that goes up, the body rotates back a bit to bring up this side. And then, where this is more of a pop boom. And the other one does the same thing here. And maybe bring up that butt a bit higher, maybe legs out. Just something where it's a bit more of an aggressive stance of, all right, I'm going to get into this. And then, kaka, kaka, bigger accents in the head. Rah, 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 and then go straight into this. Just giving a bit more action versus just a stomp that doesn't do too much. And then we kind of linger with nothing happening. Yes, it would be cool to get. I guess we're doing it. Nah. 
tricky with the it's a weird shadow offset there but i was trying to find a way to keep those legs lower a bit longer into that this one is almost a bummer because it's too short and then whoa i wish it would hold longer to then come down towards us a bit more it's a cool silhouette though it's a bit too mirrored i would give it a bit more of offset for interest but i will personally just hold that longer to come down and then maybe you cut in here where you finish that downwards move into this then it feels more like siblings playing hey i'm gonna tickle you i'm gonna tickle you versus god i'm gonna eat your face off and then you use that again the sil silhouette is a bit funky where i will bring out this into a big silhouette ba -ba, ba -ba, attack this other one ba -ba, attack just really bigger moves and then it's a bit like i don't know what happened here is it is this guy pushing off is this guy just tired of it and then what's going on was this is not moving anymore really uh and then we get into this where this gets really fast you're killing the weight here i would slow this down a lot more so is it is this kind of like a victory thing of ha 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 or is it like ah ah oh, it hit me in my stomach oh that hurts you know like i don't know because so it goes down here like i don't know what this is supposed to mean if it's victorious i would actually go down and like reverse this where it's like this and the rah, and that's the end right imagine the 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 image is flopped so i keep this but this is looking this way so not looking this way but this way but it gets off the creature and that's where it starts low 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 and then victory or it's chica it's this is dead and this is slowly dying too and falling to the ground and whatever it is some blood here or something i don't know so that's that so kind of a critique slash question thing let me know in the email um what the intentions are what you want to do and that is that for me thank you all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.